Hey everyone, I have been reading a lot about elk lately, of all things, and uh, I find the history behind how elk got reintroduced to Kentucky uh, particularly fascinating. There's an article from about 14 years ago um, from Kentucky, a field that I think is just it's harrowing. It's amazing. It's about determination and teamwork and um, conservation. People who are outside of the hunting community, whether they hunt or not, but you know, people who are not super familiar with the ways of true hunting and the ethics of hunting uh, often do not associate uh, that type of activity with conservation. But this is a really harrowing story of that exact thing and uh, is not uncommon in true hunting circles and hunting organizations. Um, but in any case, you should check it out. Uh, it's about six pages long and it's a, it's a really, really, really cool story and also speaks to a region of Kentucky that we don't often talk about in terms of positive news, which is Eastern Kentucky. That's where uh, the bulk of our elk population really is, if, if not all of it. And now we have the, the largest elk herd uh, the east side of the Mississippi, um, all because of some very, very persistent and uh, cool people, um, a very small group of them uh, that, of course, ended up with a larger team of people to make it all happen. But just a few people that had a cool idea. And um, yeah, so go ahead and read it. The link is in my bio. I hope that you are having a wonderful Wednesday. And if you didn't know, we are starting Thursday Night Live again here in Lexington. So uh, mark your calendar for, what, eight days from today because you'll be able to go downtown and see people and hear music and do all the things that we used to do. Uh, but until then, I will see you later. Adios.